Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah with Sarah of Plans Life, and today we are planning the week of August 31st through September 6th. It's finally September. I'm so stoked, y'all. So, we're just gonna dive right in because I'm nervous this video is going to get super long because I had one heck of a week. Very overwhelming, very just a lot. So, I'm actually going to do my whole outline, hopefully, fingers crossed, while talking, just so that I can kind of catch you up on what's been going on in my crazy life. So, first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the kit I'm gonna use. I'm using a planner cake kit, and because it's the first week of September, I'm like, yes, let's do some sort of fall kit. I'm gonna put out all my fall decorations on Tuesday because it's the first, because I'm a grown up and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> so I'm using mini kit 248, and I'm, in love with this kit. I just love the colors. It's so fall. This is kind of a, it kind of reminds me of Wizard of Oz for some reason, even though like those aren't ruby slippers or anything like that. I don't know. I just see this picture and I think Wizard of Oz. So yes, this is the kit I'm going to use. So let's just jump right in. I've got a lot going on. Let me just kind of show you how this week ended up turning out. Ooh, stickers. Uh, as you can see, I had to write in a bunch of stuff and then obviously nothing's happened the last two days because my son had his tonsillectomy yesterday. So we've just been relaxing at home. So yeah, so the first big thing I guess that happened was on Sunday. So Saturday night I had a Skype call with the dads. I can't get this off. Okay. Okay. I had a Skype call with them, and right after, I noticed that there was a dog available with the rescue that we like to follow. This is really great doodle rescue that I follow on Facebook, and I've been applying for dogs through them for months, like since, since about April was when we really started wanting to get a dog. So I've been applying since April, and I saw one available, and he seemed like such a great fit, and so I ended up applying. And so that was Saturday night. Sunday morning, we started putting together a new dresser for my son. It's one of those flat pack. It's what my husband called it, a flat pack box. And so it had a million pieces. It kind of reminded me of like an Ikea setup. It had a million pieces, I feel like. So that was all spread out all over our house. And I get a text from the rescue, which I had never gotten before, saying like, you know, they'd love to call me to learn a little bit more about me and why I think this dog would be a good fit for us. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So I call them and, or they call me, and we talk about this dog and he just seems perfect. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope they pick me. Sorry, you guys watching me struggling with this? This is hilarious. And so, they have the foster that's fostering him call me and she's like, we really like y'all. Do you want to come meet him? I'm like, sure. When's good for you guys? And they're like, well, how about in 45 minutes at this place? That's a half hour away from me. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Okay. So the kids didn't know we had applied for a dog because obviously we didn't want to get their hopes up with anything. So all of a sudden we have like <laughs> 10 minutes to get out of our house and to get going. <laughs> So I, you know, tell the kids, hey, we're going to go see a dog that, you know, we might be able to take home and we go and meet him and he's perfect. And the fosters tell us that, you know, they're going to pick us. And so, yeah, Sunday we found out we were getting a dog. <laughs> so we bought all the things and he came home on Tuesday evening. So Monday was when I had my beta check and... I was real excited for that. I go, I get my blood drawn, I wait around all day. Um, and I was really nervous about this blood draw because I had been taking pregnancy tests and while they were positive, the pregnancy test lines were not getting any darker. And that was making me really nervous because when you have something like that and they're not getting darker, you kind of worry about whether or not the pregnancy is progressing. This kit was not cut very well, I'll be honest. I'm pulling up a lot of stuff. 
Anyway, they send me an email saying that my number was really low. And I was just devastated. I just knew, you know, like they were super optimistic. They were like, you know, we'll, we'll draw your blood again in two days and, you know, kind of see, see where it's at. And, you know, it's probably just, you know, progressing really slow, but I just kind of knew I tried to stay optimistic and, you know, hopeful that things would be better, but I, yeah, I don't know. So, so then, you know, Tuesday we, we get our dog. His name is Bo. He's amazing. He's like, he's 20 pounds. He's like a black doodle schnauzer something. I'm, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> We're not quite sure what he's a mix of, but he doesn't shed and he's very adorable and I just love him to death. So we got him on Tuesday. Wednesday, I go in for another beta check and I get the email and my number had gone down, which meant that it was not a viable pregnancy and I had to stop all my medications. And I was mostly just kind of numb about it. I just, I don't know, like I had said before on Monday, I had just felt like, you know, maybe this wasn't going to work out. And, you know, I had spent like most of the afternoon and evening on Monday, just extremely upset and crying and just not sure. So then by the time Wednesday rolled around and it was confirmed, like, I just, I just felt numb, you know, it's kind of hard to explain. So, so yeah, we're, you know, I stopped all my meds. We need to wait for my period to start. I still want to make a transfer video for you guys. Like, I know I've been saying it every week that I'm going to do it, but like this week was just rough and I just, I, I could not motivate myself to get out all of my camera and all of my gear and put myself on camera to cry and tell you how amazing the transfer was and how it, you know, didn't work. <sighs> God. So, yeah. So, now what's... What's left is, yeah, we're going to wait for my period, and then we can pretty much dive right into another cycle. So, you know, so there's that, but it's still, it's still devastating, and I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I feel so much better today than I did on Monday. Like, I feel, I feel good, you know? Like, I feel, I feel ready to just jump onto the next one, and try again and I know that after one failed transfer usually the second time around it's it just works so I also feel very optimistic about the next time but it's you know it's just another thing of my gosh we're gonna have to plan for San Diego trip again uh make sure my friend can watch my kids again and now we have a dog so now we got to figure out what we're gonna do with him and you know it's okay it's just more to think about, and that's totally fine. So then also this week what happened was my my mom and her boyfriend had a, you know, a, a really big fight, and we thought that they were going to break up, and so that was a lot of, you know, me calling her and talking to her and, you know, kind of stressing about that, you know, because she thought she was going to have to leave, and... um. So that was really stressful, but, you know, they actually, they worked it out. Everything's going to be okay. So that worked itself out, thank goodness. But it was like, for me, it was like, oh my gosh, another thing that's going on this week. Like, this week is the longest year of my life. <laughs> I just wanted this week to be over, you know. Like, I'm very glad we got, that the, you know, the good thing that happened this week is that we got Bo. But it was just, it's just a lot of overwhelming stuff happening this week. So then yesterday was my son's tonsillectomy, and that actually went really well. The doctor prepared me for it, but I guess I just really was not mentally prepared for how, like, just disoriented and sad and, like, crying that he was going to be um, after he came out of anesthesia. I was not, I was not ready for that. And he, it was very hard to watch and, you know, it just it was made me very sad. But he's been a champ. That kid, man, he is tough. Like he's, 
you know, he's doing really good, and, you know, obviously his throat hurts, but he's been great. He's about, you know, 80% popsicle at this point. That kid has been downing popsicles like crazy. <laughs> it's like, he's like, it's probably the best few days of his life getting to have, you know, popsicles and ice cream for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> he's been loving that. It's going to rain a lot this week. So, yeah, so that was my week. How was your week? Was your week as crazy and busy as mine? Was it a bit easier than that? I feel like I've been talking your ear off about my crazy week, but yeah, I've just had a lot to say. Okay, so I am going to go through and write in the temperature for the week and my couple to-dos that I have, and then I'll be right back. Okay, put those dates in, so now we are good to go. Yeah, so our dog, Bo, and it's spelled B-E-A-U-X. <laughs> um, his name actually with his foster, his foster named him Bo. Um, she actually named him Beauregard, and they shortened it to Bo, but without the X. And then when my husband went to go and make his little dog tag, he, uh, he like called me and was like, Hey, can I put an X on the end of his name? Because my husband's Cajun. And so that's like a big thing for Cajuns is having an X on the end of everything. Um, and I was like, sure, that's fine. That's still cute. So yes, little Bo. And he is the most laid back, easygoing, like just amazing dog that I have ever met. Like I can't even... <laughs> I can't even with this dog. He's so, he's so dang awesome. Um, I posted a picture of him on my Instagram, but like, here's a little picture of him on my phone. <laughs> and he's so cute. I love it. Okay. Anyway, back to planning. So now we have dog things to add on here. <laughs> so he needs a dose of heartworm medication. So this is the last dose that for like a three month thing that he's supposed to do. And then I think after this, we can do yearly. I don't know. Put down in the comments what, what you guys do with that. Cause I have no idea. <laughs> okay. So then Monday I will be uploading and I'll use one of these flag stickers. Use these flag stickers for all of this. So I'll upload this video probably around, around nine-ish, 9.30, I think is when I typically been doing it. Oh my gosh, look how crooked I made that. Ooh, this is why I need to use my tweezers. Okay, and then I'm going to do some self-care on Monday night. I'm just going to kind of take care of myself and, you know, I, I really, I really need it. Maybe I'll paint my nails and watch a movie and just relax in bed. It's going to be excellent. Actually, you know what I'll watch? I'll probably watch Hamilton. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little Hamilton sticker here. So we know. That's what I'm going to be doing, you guys. Okay, so Tuesday. Now what we're doing Tuesdays, we're going to be sending Juliet to... My friend Stephanie's house for preschool. She loved it last week. She's been a champ this week too. Like I feel bad for her, especially with like Scotty having his surgery. She's just been, you know, like <laughs> she'll come to me and be like, my throat hurts too. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> you are fine. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's just hard for her. Like she's just, you know. There's a lot of attention on Scotty and, you know, she's, she doesn't like not having the attention on herself and I get it cause I would be too. All right. And then we are also having, we are getting a new front door. Oh my gosh. These really were just horrifically cut. Like they are not coming off the page very well. Okay. So we are getting a new front door installed on Tuesday. Not quite sure what time yet, but 
I am so excited because the way our house works is we have, you know, we have our front door and then we have a really long hallway where the bedrooms are off of the hallway a little bit and then it goes to our family room. So that hallway, there's no windows at the door. So it's very narrow. So it's very dark in that hallway. So what we're doing is we're going to get a door that has like a nice big piece of glass in it so that we can let some natural light in. Um, it's an opaque glass, so you won't be able to like see inside very well. And we're going to paint it red, but it's really going to brighten up that hallway like a ton. And I am so excited for that because like I just, you know, little things to like spruce up our house just makes me just super happy. Like getting to have like upgrades to the house and stuff. Like it's just, it's so exciting for me. And then I'm putting in here that Juliet has her Taekwondo class on Tuesday. I don't know if I will be able to take her or not. It depends on if James is able to get home from work early because Scotty will not be going to Taekwondo. They want him on like limited activity for two weeks. I, I mean, with the way he's been, I'm thinking I'll be able to let him go to like one class next Saturday, kind of see how that goes for him. But realistically, I'm planning on him not doing Taekwondo all, at all this week. So if James is able to come home early from work, then I will be able to take her so she can do her Taekwondo because she just, she loves it. So I am getting my HCG levels checked again. I'm getting them checked on Wednesday just to make sure that all of the levels are completely back to zero. Um, so what it seems like happened is I think what I have, what I had was a, what's called a chemical pregnancy. So my body may have, like that embryo may have stuck, um, but just didn't continue to grow or my body thought that it was pregnant and started producing some HCG, but then it just went straight back down. So I'm not quite sure. Um, the dads actually have a call scheduled with their, with the doctor, with the, with the doctor. So they're going to really get like a good idea of what happened, I think, from her and just kind of next steps. But I think what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to just head straight into another cycle. This is still tentative here, but... I'm thinking Scotty will be able to start going back to online school on Wednesday, but it just it just really depends. It's tentative. He, oh, another thing I found out that happened this week is that they like rearranged a lot of the online kids and moved them into different classes, which normally would be totally fine, but for you know, for Scotty, like that, all of a sudden it changed our entire schedule because this teacher does things differently than the other teacher. So now we're only doing three online, like live classes, which is great. I love that we aren't having, you know, six classes a day. Like that was excessive. Like, it's just easier for me to just be like, okay, you know, just, just, just let me do it. Just let me, just let me do these assignments. So now I'll be able to, you know, I can kind of take control. I can choose our schedule. I can choose like when he does these classes and stuff. Like she put out like a, like a guideline, like you should be doing this at this time and this at this time. But I am just like, no, I'm going to do it. <laughs> So that's just going to be, this is super crooked. That's just going to be real nice to be able to do that. Granted, he was in her class for all of a day before his tonsillectomy. So that's, that's been nice. So it's just frustrating. And I know it's very frustrating for the teachers too, because, you know, they're just kind of being thrown around at this. Like when I told his old teacher that he wasn't in her class anymore, she was like, oh, he's not. Like she had no clue. <laughs> So this whole thing is just a mess. Okay, so I'm having a Skype chat with the dad so we can kind of talk about, you know, how their phone call went with the doctor and uh, just kind of what's 
what's going on there. So we are just doing tentative Taekwondo here. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna see how he's doing. We will just, we will just see what happens. But yeah, it's not gonna be too busy of a week, mainly because, you know, Scotty's still recovering, so we don't really have anything planned. We don't have swimming planned. Both of their last classes this last week were canceled because they were having some sort of pool and internet problem. I'm not quite sure. So they canceled their last two classes. <laughs> so now, now they each have one swimming lesson left, which is why I have call aqua tots on here because I'm going to be scheduling those for, you know, in two weeks. Okay. So then we're going to film again. I really like filming on the evenings. It's been so nice getting to get my filming done at night after the kids go to bed and this is just kind of nice nice me time I'll use another one of my once more with love stickers so yeah i think that's really it for what happened this week and i'm fine like honestly i am actually okay like monday was rough you know it was just a lot of sadness but I mean it's just it's natural it's natural to be sad when something like this happens it's it's natural to be sad when you know even as a surrogate when a transfer fails like even though this was not my child this is my body and this is something I was working really hard for and really wanted I really wanted it for these guys and yeah so it's devastating when it doesn't work out but I feel much better. I do know that my body was doing the right thing. It was... Ah, stick. Okay. Be straight. Um, my body was doing the right thing. It was... I was pregnant. Yes, we are pretty sure that the embryo did stick. So that is really good. That feels really good. And... You know, I know my body did the right thing. I know that it was not my fault. It was not my fault that this didn't work out. You know, and obviously that is like my first, like, oh my gosh, this had to have been my fault. Even though, like, you know, if you, like, if I actually like sit down, sat down and thought about it, like, no, it's not my fault. But of course, your first instinct is like, well, I did something to mess this up. Like, I did something that to make this not work. And that's not true. That's not the case at all. It just happens. There's still, you know, I I want to say there's still like a 10% chance of IVF not working when you have, you know, the perfect, you know, you've got a surrogate, you've got the perfect embryo, you're doing everything right. There's still just that chance that it doesn't work. And that's okay. So, yeah. And now it's just, it's going to be on to the next thing. It's going to be on to the next cycle. We are going to keep going. We're going to keep trying. Everything's going to be okay. I feel good and confident. So yeah, now I just have to wait for my period to start. And I have no concept of when that's going to start, what that's going to be like. So that's going to be kind of an interesting journey that we have to do there. So here it is. I'm going to actually go through and write or put in all of my decorative doodle girls that I like to do. Because y'all know I just love this part. <laughs> okay. So yes, here we go. I'm going to go through and I'm going to write everything out with a pen. And then I will be right back and we will wrap up. Okay, so here it is with the pen. I love this kit. I was a little nervous about getting this kit. I don't know. I just was worried. I, I don't know. Like, I wasn't a super huge fan of kind of the style of it. I don't know. I don't know why it made me nervous. It just did. That is all. I have spoken. But now that it's down on paper, oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. I love the colors. It's so fall. Let me know what you think. Let me know how your week was. Let me know if you've got anything big coming up this week, if you've got big plans, if it's kind of a low-key week for you too. This is pretty low-key for me. I really don't 
have much I need to do except virtual school stuff. That's That usually takes up quite a bit of my day because I really do need to be very hands-on with him because he is in first grade. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out Plan With Me's every Monday. I hope everyone has a great week, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.